There are claims of people making literally millions from the Jupiter airdrop. And I have good news for you guys. If you missed out on the first one, there is actually apparently going to be more rounds of this airdrop. So let's figure out exactly how we can qualify for the most amount of Jupiter airdrop tokens in the next rounds. And if you do appreciate these sorts of videos, airdrop videos, tutorials, and daily market updates, keeping you as up to date with everything that's happening in crypto, I'd really appreciate it if you wanted to join the family and hit that subscribe button. We can see here from one one of the tweets I've seen here, this guy claims to have made over a million dollars on the Jupiter airdrop. And if we do just go over to Jupiter here on Twitter, we can see a whole host of people talking about how many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars they made from Jupiter here. Now, we don't know if these are all real, right? We don't know if these are real airdrops here, but we can see that there are big numbers here. Now, I myself qualified for this airdrop just from using Jupiter in the past. I wish I had a focused on farming the airdrop more. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. So we are gonna go through exactly how you guys can do it. First of all, if you don't know whether or not you have qualified for the Jupiter airdrop, this link from phantom.app, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description so you don't have to fall for any of these horrible scams that are dropping here. They are all gonna be scams. Just do not follow anything from Twitter because it's gonna end up getting you scammed, all right? Please guys, I'll leave a link to this down here. You can see everything you need to know about the Jupiter airdrop. But most importantly, if you scroll down to when will the dupe airdrop take place and you can click on claim dupe. So if we click on that and we go over here, this is the website it will take you to and you'll be able to see this claim dupe. If you do have your wallet, I have a number of different wallets. This is one wallet that I haven't got the allocation yet. So we can see that you can claim 200 dupe. Now this isn't really worth a lot of money right now. It's at 60 cents, I think. So this is worth, you know, a little over a hundred dollars, but if it goes to $10, let's say, this could be a very worthwhile airdrop. And this is from me touching on Jupiter, barely using it. We're gonna get ourselves ready for the next airdrop. Of course, please remember that nothing in my videos is financial advice. This is not a sponsored post. This is me trying to give you as much information as I possibly can. So if you appreciate that, do smash that like button if you fancy it. We're gonna claim dupe here. We're gonna confirm the transaction directly in our wallet, hit confirm, and then we can see I've claimed my 200 dupe. So if you're in the same boat there, you'll see your Jupiter here. It's worth $129. Personally, I'm just gonna hold on to that for now. But how do we get the most amount of Jupiter for the next airdrop. Now, I want to get some more, right? And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be doing this. So you're going to have to be paying attention to this. Watch the whole video. And what we're going to do is we're going to start using it. They have one, two, three, four, five different options here right now. Potentially when you're watching this, maybe it's in the future. They might have seven or eight options, but we want to use each and every one of these. So swap here. What we want to do, let's connect our wallet up to Jupiter. We'll do Phantom. And really, this is so easy. Jupiter's doing a really good job of making this super easy for everyone to use. So let's go here. I've got some Solana in my wallet. So let's go, let's put just one Solana into this and we'll receive USDC $94 because the price of Solana is down a little bit today. So could be a good dollar cost averaging opportunity or maybe we just wait out a little bit of the wild market we're having. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit swap. The idea around this is to create as much volume on the exchange as we possibly, possibly can here. So we're gonna swap that in a few seconds later, it will be done. And then you'll be able to see here, you have your USDC. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap that back up there. We're gonna put max and we're gonna swap this back into Solana. You can see we've lost a little bit of Solana because of our fees, of course. And we're going to hit confirm. Now, already that's successful. It's so quick. I absolutely love using Solana because it's so great for our DGEN plays. And that's done. So you guys can do that as many times as you want. Probably better if you actually just use the exchange for swapping. If you're using the Solana ecosystem, use Jupiter when you're swapping so you get the most out of it. Now, we've done that. You can continue to do this with other things. You can swap Solana into Jupiter if you want. You can swap around if you want to buy anything thing can send Solana from your centralized exchange to your phantom wallet and start trading here. Now, what we want to do is we want to use another option. So let's go on limit order together here. So we're going to be selling Solana. Let's put it at 0.1 here. 0.5 here. And what we're going to do is set a limit order. So what's really good about Jupiter Exchange is you can set an order depending on where you want to buy it. So you want to buy Jupiter right now at 0 .00, 0 0.00068. We can see here it says expiry never, meaning that once we put this order in, it will never expire until it's hit. And of course, you can close it after if you don't, if you do want to close it. And we're going to be buying 76 
0.5 Jupiter token. So we're going to place our limit order here. Again, confirm the transaction within your Phantom wallet. And as we can see here, our order has been placed and it's sitting there. So 0.5 sold for 73 Jupiter if the price drops down. So let's leave that for now and come back and hopefully we will have got that. So let's head over to DCA here. So DCA, dollar cost average, you know I absolutely love dollar cost averaging and this is awesome. I actually, I'm really impressed by this exchange. So I want to allocate so 0.27 and let's DCA into Radium. Radium is, an exchange, is a decentralized exchange, just a complete example here. So what do we want to DCA? We can DCA every minute, hour, day, week, month. We've been over this on the channel many times. What's better? It's actually the best from my experience from larger cap altcoins to DCA weekly on actually a Saturday. That was came out as the best day to DCA. So we're gonna do that once a week here into Radium over, let's say, two orders. Now, of course, this will be, you'll need to have your Solana in your wallet in order to maintain this. And we can leave enable price strategy here as off, but this is advanced pricing strategy, allows you to set a minimum and maximum price range. So if you want to stop DCAing at certain prices, let's just leave that off for now and let's hit start DCA. And we can see the transaction is submitted successfully. Of course, these are just play numbers. You'd probably want to be DCAing a little bit more into your favorite coins, but this is Solana into Radium, 0.27 Solana, 0.27 Solana every week. You can also see your past DCAs showing up here. Now you might notice that this is very much like a centralized exchange. And I think this is the idea that they're going for. And we could be onboarding a lot of new retail investors because of how easy to use this is. You just download Jupiter, you download Phantom both onto your phone, you buy a little bit of crypto, and then you start doing this stuff. It's absolutely awesome. Let's head back to our limit order here. We can see that the price has come down, but we've only filled 0.02 of our Solana. So I'm just gonna close this now just because I need the Solana that's in this test wallet to keep going. But you wanna be leaving these open, you wanna be creating volume as much as you can. So we've done DCA, let's head over to the bridge. If you don't know, bridging is where you bridge between different ecosystems. So for example, Solana to Ethereum. So we can actually bridge from Solana over to Ethereum. So let's click on wormhole here. You can see seamlessly bridge Ethereum, wrapped Ethereum or wrapped Bitcoin from Ethereum to Solana with zero slippage. If you have made it this far into the video, could you please just smash that like button so we can push this out to more people and let's jump onto it. So what you're gonna wanna do now is head over to the swap. We're gonna need to get ourselves some Ethereum to actually bridge over. So we're gonna put here Solana and then we're gonna click here on ETH. So you can type in ETH and you're gonna see wrapped ETH come here, Ether portal, right? So that's what we're gonna to wanna to do. And of course, am I not connected? Oh, we have to reconnect our wallet, it disconnected there. So we are connected and I'm gonna swap over one Solana. We're gonna to have to do a little bit more on this transaction because there are fees involved with good old, the devil, Ethereum. So let's hit swap. And this section, you'll still just be swapping Solana into Ethereum, but it's Ethereum wrapped on the Solana network. So it's not like a native Ethereum yet, but that's what we're gonna create. So we're gonna go over to bridge here. We're gonna re-click on wormhole. We're gonna connect our wallet here. So connect your MetaMask. We're gonna connect our Phantom wallet again here. And what we're gonna be able to do is swap them around. We're gonna click here on asset. Then you're gonna see here under available tokens, you'll see your wrapped Ethereum. You may actually need to refresh your browser if nothing comes up here. And we're gonna click on that. And then we can see our balance is 0.041. So we're gonna put that in here, 0.041. And we're gonna swap that into our asset, which is wrapped Ethereum on the Ethereum network. So this is gonna go through a process of coming from our wrapped Ethereum on Solana, going through X Labs, and then coming out as wrapped Ethereum on the Ethereum network. So we have all of that. We can see the amount we're gonna get is 0.03. You're gonna lose 0.01 because of the fees on Ethereum. So be prepared for that, there are fees. So it's gonna cost 0.0000015 Solana and 0.01 Ethereum. We're gonna approve and proceed with the transaction. We're gonna confirm it in that address, and then it's gonna take a little bit of time. Right now on the back end, it's actually going through the the bridging process. So you're gonna to have to wait a couple of minutes for this to go through. We can see the first step going through here, we're sending from Solana. And as we can see here, our Ethereum is sitting there unwrapped on Ethereum. So it actually unwraps it for you. Sometimes when you use a bridge, it can end up being wrapped Ethereum. And then if you went over to Uniswap, you'd be able to unwrap it by putting wrapped Ethereum and Ethereum as the trade, and then it would unwrap it. But 
we landed directly here with our Ethereum 0.031. So guys, you have completed everything there is to do on Jupiter Exchange, hopefully to grab up the next big airdrop. I am really hoping that we can get a substantial allocation. What I would suggest is going in and making this part of your daily routine if it's something that you want to do. The fees on Solana are low, but there will be fees involved. So remember that. And of course, there are risks involved because this is crypto and it is decentralized. So of course, you need to manage your risk and go out and do your own research. Very excited about this. So let me know what you think about Jupiter and Solana and the whole ecosystem down there in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video peace